Hello, everybody. Questions about alligators, snakes, and other animals are pretty common right here in the Walking Club Facebook group. And I totally get it. I'm nervous sometimes too. So that's why I wanted to bring in an expert to answer all of our questions. I want you to meet Melody Kilborn. She is our local FWC spokesperson. Melody, thank you so much for joining me today. Glad to be here. So let's start with uh, alligators first. That's pretty much the uh, most common question. What to do if you encounter one? Can you break down some of the basics for us? Sure. Alligators can be found in all 67 counties here in the state of Florida. So your chances of seeing one um, out while you're outdoors um, is pretty high, um, but your chances of actually encountering one or having um, some sort of negative interaction with, with one is quite rare, um, especially if you utilize the safety tips that we have, we have and I'm going to give a few today, but you can check them out on our website in full. And what are those safety tips? Just really be aware of your surroundings. And this not only applies for alligators, but any other um, time you're outdoors, you want to make sure that if you do see an alligator or other types of wildlife, you keep your distance. I know a lot of people really love getting photos when they're, when they're out and wildlife photography is really popular, especially in this area. Um, cameras and even your phone camera has a pretty good zoom on it. So don't feel like you need to get too close. We do not encourage people to do that. Keep your distance. What would you say is a safe distance that would be easy to quantify for people? I think it really depends on where you're at and how much distance you're able to give to be able to continue on your path um, and not get out in the woods too far. But we would say you know, 50 to 100 feet or more, if at all possible. So Megan says that she's afraid of wildlife. She often goes alone to parks and trails with her kids, and she doesn't know what to do if something were to attack them as unlikely as it is. Would a stick or mace help if she was attacked by an alligator? Serious injuries from alligators are very rare. But if you do find yourself in those circumstances, use anything available to you um, to um, poke the alligator, um, to get that alligator to, to let go and move away from you um, and seek medical attention right away. That's very important as well. Julie wants to know what you should do if your dog is attacked by an alligator. Um, small dogs especially um, are about the size of natural prey um, for alligators. So um, there may be a chance that an alligator may, um, may uh, attempt to take a dog. Um, we recommend keeping your dog on a short leash for one, away from the water, not swimming with your dog um, or keeping your dog, at all, out, if at all possible, out of the water um, to avoid those types of interactions. But should you find yourself in that position, it is really tough. Um, yeah, a tough situation, but we do not encourage trying to get in the middle of it. You can be seriously injured, um, but, but do call authorities right away. We have a statewide nuisance alligator program hotline that you can call. Um, and we've got lots of information about that on our website. Another big topic in the group, uh, snakes, of course. So what should we know about snakes in Florida for especially those people who didn't grow up here and are kind of not used to the, the types that are down in this area? Sure. We have 44 native species of snakes here in Florida. Only six of those are venomous. So the majority of the time, you are more than likely to incur uh, to um, come across, if you do see a snake, one that is non-venomous. However, we do, not, um, we do not encourage people to get close to them, to touch snakes, especially if with, you're with your dog, um, keeping your dog on a short leash. But um, dogs are curious, so uh, we don't want to have any chance of one of those types of negative interactions. And during times of heavy rain, you'll notice that you may see snakes by the trail more often sunning themselves. That's how they get warm um, when it's um, colder and um, certainly um, as they retreat from areas that become, become waterlogged. Hard to say how often or how likely it is to come across them. Is that correct? It certainly depends on the time of year, the time of the day, what the weather's like, um, and, and of course, um, what area you're in. Some are curious if having a walking stick would be helpful to kind of, you know, move it in front of you, maybe move any critters out of the way. Um, is that something advisable? 
A walking stick's not a bad idea, but we do not encourage anybody to attempt to move wildlife. Um, they could be they could feel threatened um, if you try to, to move them um, and, and be defensive. And so we um, encourage people to just find a way around, a safe way around. We don't um, want you to put yourself in harm's way to do so, but um, keep that buffer, that distance from wildlife and, um, and move on along um, with your walk. What is the uh, best thing to do if you do at some point, you know, are bit by a snake. It's really important to seek medical attention right away. Um, and um, if you're able to identify the snake quickly, that's great. Um, but don't try it.